One extremely surprising statistic from the 2024 Hoof Point State of the Fish Report is that 89% of security professionals believe that multi-factor authentication, or MFA, provides complete protection against account takeover. Given all the different techniques by which MFA can be bypassed, such as session hijacking, help desk social engineering, SIM swapping, and MFA fatigue attacks, to name some of the most popular ones, it's not hard to see why MFA is less effective now. This is due in part to all the kits that are available to automate MFA bypass, such as Evil Proxy, Mudlishka, Evil Jinx, and others. This video demonstrates how easy it is to bypass MFA and should help dispel the myth of MFA's complete protection and should help move your thinking to how to provide greater defense in depth. In this video, we demonstrate how an MFA-enabled Microsoft 365 account can be taken over by a threat actor using the widely available Evil Jinx adversary in the middle attack framework. Evil Jinx is a phishing tool used to perform attacks primarily aimed at stealing login credentials and session cookies, even when MFA is enabled on the account. It includes a reverse proxy server that intercepts communication between the user and the malicious website enabling attackers to take over an account without the user knowing. Here we assume that Alex Wilbur or Alex W, an employee of a top demo organization, has been socially engineered by the threat actor and redirected by him to a fake but very real looking Microsoft 365 login page. Note that on the left side of the screen is the standard Microsoft login page that anyone would expect to see. But on the right side of the screen, is the live Evil Jinx attack tool, which is acting as a reverse proxy server for this web login session. From Alex's point of view, he thinks he's logging into the organization's actual Microsoft 365 tenant. In this scenario, Alex receives his second factor, a one-time code, via an SMS text. However, it could have been delivered from an app on his phone. It makes no difference how the second factor is delivered. Note, while Alex is successfully logging into Microsoft, Evil Jinx captures the session cookie. The threat actor then takes this cookie from the tool and logs into the organization's actual Microsoft 365 tenant as Alex Wilbur. Of course, once the threat actor does that, he has access to everything that Alex has access to in Microsoft 365, including Alex's corporate email account. This is where the malicious actions progress quickly. First, the threat actor creates a malicious mailbox rule to delete all incoming email in order to keep real Alex unaware of the attack. Next, using OAuth, the threat actor connects a new email client to Alex's account. Of course, this perfectly legitimate email client is under the control of the threat actor. Note now, all of Alex's email is now mirrored to the threat actor's email client. Even when real Alex changes his password, the attacker still controls this mailbox until the application's access token is revoked. This persistently configured email client remains a very stealthy backdoor to Alex's email. Once Alex's account has been taken over, the threat actor is, is essentially Alex Wilbur from a digital identity perspective. He is now inside the organization and can expand his malicious activities within the Microsoft 365 cloud tenant or pivot to applications and hosts inside the enterprise. Once he's in, he's in. It is now up to the organization's defense in depth security controls to detect and remediate this cloud account takeover. Note that the MFA-enabled authentication for this account was nothing more than a security speed bump for this threat actor. Without an effective detection and response system, the malicious Alex Wilbur can persist or dwell inside the ATOP demo organization for days, weeks, or even months. He would likely use this dwell time to collect intelligence, spread to other accounts, and to prepare to execute the next stages of his attack. 
It's safe to say that if your detection of an account takeover is dependent on your users reporting it, or a SIM or XDR system detecting it, your organization is significantly exposed. Fortunately, Proofpoint Account Takeover Protection was specifically designed to address this cloud account takeover detection and response challenge. By consuming real-time data from every customer's TAP environment, leveraging direct API connections into Microsoft 365, Google, or Okta, and leveraging Proofpoint's extensive threat intelligence combined with machine learning and behavior analysis, Proofpoint Account Takeover Protection accelerates customers' ability to detect, investigate, and respond to account takeovers, significantly reducing threat actors' dwell time. And since we now know that MFA, while helpful, is not perfect, Account Takeover provides defense in depth against the account takeover threat. Let's look at the defender's view of the successful account takeover that has just occurred to Alex Wilbur. Starting the investigation in the Proofpoint TAP dashboard, we can see that several accounts, including the Alex W account, have been flagged as experiencing an account takeover. Clicking into Alex's account timeline, we can see multiple occurrences of delivered bad messages, as well as other account takeover related activities. When we drill into the associated attack sequence for Alex, we see that it covers pre-access, access, and post-access activities. In addition to quickly suspending the account and forcing a password change, we can also directly address the post-access impacts that have been conducted by fake Alex. For each malicious activity, Proofpoint provides insights into the user, the risks involved, as well as the details of the activities that occurred post takeover. Clicking into the Forensics tab, we see an easy to consume explanation of the attacker's techniques and the evidence that helps the security analyst decide whether or not to remediate the changes to this account. We can also see as part of this attack that fake Alex manipulated the account's MFA settings. We can see detailed information about the device that the attacker registered to attain persistent access to the account. The security analyst can then move to immediately delete the device method. Similarly, we see the permissions of the third-party email client that the attacker authorized. We can also see that Proofpoint has flagged this app as a commonly abused application. Here also, immediate remediation steps can be taken, such as revoking access to the third-party application, thus removing the back door to the account on which fake Alex depends. Note, all of these and other remediation actions can be conducted manually or automatically via policy. Fortunately, after the attacker's persistent access to Alex's email has been removed by the Proofpoint solution, the flow of email to the rogue email client is immediately suspended. As you can see here, once the account has been quarantined, the mailbox rules have been removed, the rogue MFA method also removed, and access to the third-party email system has been revoked, the threat actor no longer has access, and the account has been returned to its rightful owner.